Well, Tilton police are preparing for huge crowds here. They say they'll be doubling their patrols to keep people safe. Starting tomorrow night, these stores will be packed with crowds, but amid the deals, you'll also see plenty more police officers. And I think it makes people feel safe, too, to see us out there, you know, and, and especially with some of the things that have gone on around the country, you know, with regard to, um, uh, you know, active shooter situations. Those are situations police departments like the force in Tilton prepare for, even holding trainings like this one in 2016, in which multiple departments responded to a mock active shooter situation at two months simultaneously. You do have to train and prepare for it. We also will meet with uh, mall managers, you know, weeks leading up to Black Friday just to talk about safety uh, plans and, and what their night's going to look like as far as staffing and our staffing levels. And shoppers who plan on getting the deals here on Thanksgiving and Friday say they're glad to see more officers. If you watch the news today, it's scary. You can't tell who's a uh, good guy from who's uh, somebody who's uh, you know got something else on their mind. That's why police are asking that if you see anything suspicious to notify them immediately. And if you see something that doesn't look right or if you see a package uh, that's abandoned no one's paying any attention to it or or anything at all that could look suspicious to give us a call. Err on the side of caution and, and call your local police department. Now the chief says this is not to scare anyone or deter anyone from coming out Black Friday shopping. They simply want people to be aware of that police presence. We also reached out to Tanger outlets. They say they do not discuss their security protocols. In Tilton, I'm Sharice LeClaire, WMUR News 9.